Okay, so let's talk a little bit more about gates, in particular two other gates that we can use, which are NANDs and NORs. A NAND gate is equivalent to an AND followed by a NOT. And a NOR, as you can probably guess, is equivalent to the NOT of an OR. So these can be useful in different contexts and for different applications. But there's another important reason for using NANDs and NORs, and that is that a NAND or a NOR gate are considered universal gates. We can build any combinational circuit using only NAND gates or only NOR gates. So to see why this is the case, let's create the other basic gates, the universal gates, using just a NAND gate. If I take a NAND gate and tie the inputs together and connect to a single input, I essentially have a NOT gate. And so now if I take a NAND gate with two inputs and put our new NOT gate built with a NAND gate on the output, I now have a NAND gate. Okay, so how do I build an OR? If I invert both of the inputs and connect those to a NAND gate, this is equivalent to an OR. So now using these three circuit primitives, I can convert any circuit into just a circuit with NANDs just by a brute force replacement of each of the gates. So for example, so I can first replace this NOT gate with the NAND gate with its inputs tied together. I then could replace the AND gates and then the OR gates. And so now I have a circuit, an equivalent circuit, implemented with only a single gate, and that is the NAND gate. Okay, so now let me show you a cute trick. An AND gate with its inputs inverted and I can, and by shorthand, just show these inverter, inverters as bubbles, is equivalent to a NOR gate. The same is true for an OR gate with its inputs converted. This is equivalent to a NAND gate. So it's easy for me to go from a two-level AND OR circuit to a two-level NAND circuit. For example, For example, with the following two-level and or circuit, which if I write as an SOP expression looks like this, I can insert two inverters on a single line without changing the function. And I'm going to do that on all the wires in between the first and the second level. And then I see that this OR gate with all its inputs inverted is the same thing as a NAND gate. And now I have NAND gates here by shifting the bubble to the output of these AND gates, and I have an input inverted input on B. So we see that it's very easy to go from an SOP expression or a two-level AND OR circuit to a two-level NAND AND circuit. The same is true from going from a two-level OR AND circuit to a two-level NOR. Let's say for example I have the following two-level OR AND circuit which as a POS expression looks like this. Again, I can add inverters between the first level and the second level and see that this AND gate with its inputs inverted is the same thing as a NOR gate. And now I have NOR gates on the input. I can also see this with Boolean algebra taking the original POS expression and complementing it twice, since this will still be equivalent to the original function, and then applying to Morgan's once. And so that I see that each of these are NOR gates, and then I have one large NOR combining the results together. So it's easy to go from a POS or two-level OR AND circuit to a two-level NOR. And we can see the same with the SOP with Boolean algebra above here.
So I have um, two NAND gates, a complemented input B, and then a NAND of all three of these. As another example, let's say that we had a circuit implemented only with NAND gates, but now we wanted to change it to a circuit implemented only with NOR gates. So say I have the following NAND circuit and I want to convert this to NOR. I'm essentially going to move these inverters around, or it's called pushing the bubbles. Starting with the inputs, I've just added inverters to the inputs of each of these NAND gates. And note that this is equivalent to a NOR. Now I'll move on to the next level and move these inverters. And so now I have a NOR circuit. 